Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Alien Legacy CD version. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Robots! They're useful. Terra. Ah, we don't have any people at New Terra. Pipeline New Terra. One trip there. Uh, Alpha 5 pipeline. You can also pipeline the other way, which is really cool. Okay. Uh, Hermes doesn't have anybody at it, but at the same time. Oh good, we got another batch of people. Excellent. This is one of the more irritating things about this early game. Robots. We need to get stuff building out here in the middle of nowhere. Venting. This is a useful piece of technology. We are trying to develop a better method for locating natural resources. We are testing special filters to locate subsurface metal deposits. Until someone thinks of a better name, we'll just call the material we just created the Super Defense Micro Ceramic. Because it is so fragile, it has no current use, but we're sure it will be needed sometime in the future. Yeah. Um, that and that. Okay, when things get out of balance, things can get out of whack. Invention complete. Sir, one oh, right. of the damage is getting a thing. Um, colony manager, Calypso, explore. F thirty. We... A ship bearing the insignia of the Tantalus is parked here. With minimal efforts, your engineers can restore the ship, adding another vehicle to your fleet. Uh, Robots once constituted the main radio communication center for guiding the rest of the system. Last messages were broadcast A0, B1, C2, and D3 on Prometheus. Yeah, I don't have an outpost on Prometheus yet. Okay, this is another point where I'm going to be psychic. It seems I was correct, sir. Our team has located the remains of a radio communications node on Gaia at Sector F30. I am going to send a probe out to Prometheus, especially since we got time. Um, we're going to send... And we're going to do another quick build of the vehicle. Excellent. Our scanners are probing the beta asteroids. The telemetry data will be downloaded into our ship's Excellent. library, sir. So, we had that ship that was probing it, and we had one that created this. So, we're going to go ahead and load up and explore beta 2. We're then just going to destroy the... It's all the way down there. I don't usually... I don't usually colonize the beta asteroids. They're not very good things to colonize. Um, but they said to do so, so why not, right? Okay. Beta 2 happened to be the closest. Often Beta 4 gets dropped some closer, so... That. Oh, life's not important. Professor Christensen has been analyzing the data we've gathered from Gaia and Rhea. She's made some startling conclusions that you should be aware of. Her complete analysis has been entered into the ship's library as two reports entitled Life Science yep. Report. Something odd going on with the light with the native life forms. So uh, we're gonna take a moment to be psychic. Exploration. Because 
the uh, the Prometheus Endeavor sends us to B11 on Ares. In the empty outpost dome, you find the electronic lab of the late eccentric genius, Anton Petrosky. The memory chips of his Max 9000 notebook computer, you find sketches of an unusual radio in some mathematical equations. The cheating radio. The data we recovered from Dr. Anton Petrosky's Max 9000 computer would indicate that he was working on something called transcendental radiation. The most intriguing note he left is one that reads, Turn on the light and you will see. So, turn on the light and you will see. We can now... We need some physics. We need some physics! Up in this house. Tech manager. Dr. Prokoski is designing a radio that warps nearby space to a limited degree by flooding it with transcendental radiation. A large solid object, say a planet, for example, obeyed by the radiation with several series of anomalies. Of course, we don't know what Pachowski meant by transcendental radiation. <laughs> Work on a radio that will flood things with transcendental radiation. If only we knew what transcendental radiation was. Physics! Uh, Kali Manager, Pipeline, New Terror. This is. This is basically to stop things from getting out of balance. Okay, there is usually a, a piece of research uh, asking Dr. Tippo basically wants a lab on the Calypso. If it comes up, you have to do it, otherwise you lose the game. It didn't come up for me, so I don't have to do it. Um, I don't get the points for the research, but oh well. Excellent. Probing Prometheus. Uh... Aries, Tokyo, okay. Vehicle manager, Prometheus. Explore. Now, just because we explored that area, uh, we, we got the final tick. Really mattered by meteorite strikes. That's I zero. Yep. I have completed the. I think that was the the scientist's voice, but the robot says it, which is curious. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a screw up when they when they did the line recording, and they're like, "Well, we got the line recorded. We might as well use it." Return to Edison City in the Southern Hemisphere, Rhea, Sector Zero, for a recon mission. some energy before we go land. There we go. Much better. Zero, one, two. The other ones basically don't have anything. Possible site for studying the atmosphere of Rhea. Inside a science post, half buried in the dust, you find a diary some scientists left behind. One entry, it's unusual crystals we found were sent to Petrovsky in his private laboratory at Area Sector B11. If anyone can make use of something useful of the crystals, it's Petrovsky. So... Prometheus. Orbiting Prometheus. Transport. Calypso. Go ahead and send a ship back to the Calypso. Uh, I tend to only have one thing here on, the Promethe on Prometheus, so we're going to rename that Prometheus. SS Beta 2, dismantle. Don't need it. Beta 2 itself. Alright. Uh, vehicle manager, we got ship in orbit around Beta 2.
There we go. Ah, much better. Let's go back to New Terra. How are things doing here? Um, yeah. Tech manager. We need the. We need this radio. That that is a that is a high priority item at the moment. Uh, colony manager. Melbourne. Melbourne's. Physics usually doesn't take very long to research. Invention complete. That was probably the arrow centimeter. Um, neat thing. Things take less time to research. Uh, things take less. Generally, take fewer robots and humans to make than they do to maintain. Um, there is, there is a point where that is not the case. Okay, so one, here we are, what is this? Around this area you find several robot crews that bear the insignia of the UNS Tantalus. The robots are still working condition, they just run out of power. Excellent, we could use more robots at New Terra. Inside the ruins of the huge warehouse, you find shells containing huge coaxial cables. These mammoth cables may be in use of developing more efficient power conduits. Sir, it would appear that the coaxial helices we retrieved from Must chaos be from the crew are prototypes of, the of a better method to harness and store the output from our power plants. This must be from the crew of the Tantalus. You may want to take a look at the proposed invention under the technology yep. manager station. Out of curiosity, Melbourne is mine siphon. Need that. Um, this is useful. We're going to need it. But we don't need it right now. So, uh, electronics. I try and have something of everything being produced everywhere. Uh, mine siphon. 